at and amp T-Mobility LLC, formerly known as Singular Wireless and marketed as simply at and amp T, is a wholly owned subsidiary of at and amp T that provides wireless services to 130.4 million subscribers in the United States including Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. At and amp T-Mobility is the second largest wireless telecommunications provider in the United States and Puerto Rico behind Verizon Wireless. At and amp T-Mobility is headquartered in the Lenox Park area of Brookhaven, Georgia, just outside Atlanta. Originally known as Singular Wireless from 2000 to 2007, a joint venture between SBC Communications and Bell South, the company acquired the old at and amp T Wireless in 2004. SBC later acquired the original at and amp T. Singular became wholly owned by at and amp T in December 2006 as a result of it and amp T's acquisition of Bell South. In January 2007, Singular confirmed it would rebrand itself under the it and amp T name, although the legal corporate name change occurred immediately. For both regulatory and brand awareness reasons both brands were used in the company's signage and advertising during a transition period. The transmission concluded in late June, just prior to the rollout of the Apple iPhone. On March 20, 2011, Atom Amp T-Mobility announced its intention to acquire T-Mobile USA from Deutsche Telekom for $39 billion. If it had received government and regulatory approval, At and Amp T would have had more than 130 million subscribers. However, the U.S. Department of Justice, the Federal Communications Commission, and At and Amp T Mobility's competitors opposed the move on the grounds that it would substantially reduce competition in the cellular network market. In December 2011, in the face of both governmental and widespread consumer opposition, At and Amp T withdrew their offer to complete the merger. On March 13, 2014, the Federal Communications Commission approved at Anamp T's acquisition of Leap Wireless. On the same day Leap announced the completion of the acquisition by at and amp T services. Among the services that at and amp T aggressively promotes is its rollover minutes service, which allows customers to keep unused minutes from month to month on a 12-month rolling cycle on its popular nationwide plans. Beginning in July 2007, at and amp T allows its at and amp T Unity plan users to have rollover a service which was exclusive to the nation plans. At and Amp T also launched Video Share in 2007, in which a mobile caller can stream live video from one phone to another over the 3G network with Video Share capable phones. This allows one mobile phone user to view video from another user's camera through the mobile phone in real time. At and Amp T also had a list similar to former competitor. Altel's program launched on April 20, 2006 branded My Circle. At and Amp T rolled out the A-list program on September 20, 2009. Customers with individual nation plans of $59.99 or higher could use A-list with rollover to select up to five domestic phone numbers to call any time, including landlines and wireless numbers on any network, without using any of the minutes in their plan. Family Talk customers with plans of $89.99 99 or more could select up to 10 numbers which any person in the family talk plan can call as much as they want. Effective September 1, 2011, the A-list feature is no longer available to new consumer and IIU customers. Existing customers who had A-list on their account prior to September 1, 2011, are able to keep the feature as long as they stay on a qualifying rate plan. As of October 25, 2013, at and amp T no longer offers nation plans of family talk plans to its new customers. New customers Customers are now required to have one of it and AMP T-Mobile share value plans which include unlimited talk, 
text and a shareable bucket of data start at $45 for a smartphone. As of January 8, 2016 at AMP, T no longer offers two-year contracts for subsidized smartphones to its consumer customers. Customers who currently have two-year contracts are grandfathered. Until they upgrade to a new device they will have to choose from it and AMP T's next installment plans for smartphones. At and AMP T has also reintroduced unlimited data plans for its customers who also have either it and AMP T U verse or it and AMP T's newly acquired Direct TV. Unlimited data plans may be speed throttled after 22 gigabytes of data have been used. With the inclusion of these new plans, Plans at an AMP. T has also introduced a free roaming in Mexico feature for its POT paid customers. Within it and AMP, T's 21 state landline footprint, other it and AMP T services are offered at the it and AMP T retail stores, including signing up for home phone, internet, and new verse. At and AMP T stores outside of this footprint only offered wireless services and accessories until it and AMP T finalized its purchase of Direct TV in 2015, after which all it and AMP T company owned stores nationwide started offering direct TV alongside wireless service. Employees a large number of it and AMP T Mobility employees are unionized, belonging to the Communications Workers of America. The CWA represented roughly 15,000 of the previous 20,000 formerly it and AMP T wireless employees as of early 2006. As of the end of 2009, the CWA website claims roughly 40,000 workers of it and AMP T Mobility are represented by the union. History Singular Wireless Singular Wireless was founded in 2000 as a joint venture of SBC Communications and BellSAL. The joint venture created the nation's second largest carrier. Singular grew out of a conglomeration of more than 100 companies, with 12 well-known regional companies with Bell roots. The 12 companies included three companies spun off from advanced mobile phone service Ameritech Mobile Communications Bell South Mobility Southwest and Bell Mobile Systems, Bell South Mobility DCS, Bell South Wireless Data, CCPR Services D, B, A Cellular One of Puerto Rico and U, S, Virgin Islands. Pacific Bell Wireless, Pacific Bell Wireless Northwest, SBC Wireless, SNET Mobility, Southwest in Bell Wireless, SBC Wireless had previously operated in several Northeast markets under the Cellular One brand, while Bell South's wireless operations incorporated the former Houston Cellular. Singular's lineage can be traced back to Advanced Mobile Phone Service, which was a subsidiary of it and AMP T created in 1978 to provide cellular service nationwide. AMPS was divided among the regional Bell operating companies as part of the Bell system divestiture, with the exception of Pacific Bell and Bell South Mobility DCS. The digital network consisted of DAMPS technology. The Pacific Bell Bell and Bell South Mobility DCS networks use GSM technology on the PCS frequency band. In October 2007, Atom Amp T's president and chief executive officer Stan Sigman announced his retirement. Ralph De La Vega, Group President, Regional Telecom and Amp Entertainment, was named as president and CEO. Atom Amp T Mobility. At and AMP T wireless merger. In February 2004, after a bidding war with Britain's Vodafone PLC Singular announced that it would purchase its struggling competitor, At and AMP T wireless services, for $41 billion. This was more than twice the company's trading value. The merger was completed on October 26, 2004. The combined company had a customer base of 46 million people at the time, making Singular the largest wireless provider in the United States. At and AMP T Wireless was then legally renamed New Singular Wireless Services.
Shortly after, new commercials were shown with the at and amp T transforming into the singular logo, and with the singular logo's text turned blue to acknowledge the change. Some of the companies that comprise singular, such as Bell South Mobility, ceased to exist when they were legally merged into the operating company subsidiary at and amp T Wireless PCS, which was new singular wireless PCS. First announced on June 22, 2005, Singular Wireless announced the intention to divest its Caribbean and Bermuda operations and licenses which it acquired from the acquisition of At and Amp T Wireless, to Irish-owned and Jamaica-based Digicel Group under undisclosed financial terms. In 2006, one year following the deal, a high-ranking source allegedly close to the sale pointed the Barbados Daily Nation newspaper towards some SEC filings made by Singular which were said to establish an idea of the approximate sale price of the deal. According to the SEC filings Singular was paid around $122 million, with much of that cost going towards the purchase of the former IT and AMP T wireless assets in Barbaud by Digicel. At the time of the merger, there were two networks, the historic IT and AMP T Blue Network and the Singular Orange Network. Both networks works contained a mix of both TDMA and GSM facilities. Approximately 50,000 cell sites had to be melded together. From a technical standpoint, the blue and orange networks were considered different networks until integration was completed in 2005. Enhanced network selection was used to home cellular devices on either the blue or orange network during this process. Singular is now the newest and amp T. On November 21, 2005, Ed Whitaker, then CEO of the newly merged SBC at and amp T, announced plans to market Singular's service under the at and amp T brand. Bell South spokesman Jeff Batcher countered that the terms of the joint venture allow either party to sell the service under another name, and that he believes they will be using the brand to market to business customers. Singular President Stan Sigmund concurred with Bell South's position, indicating that the Singular brand would continue but be sold under the It and Amp T brand where offered in packages with other It and Amp T services, such as data and wireline telephony. However, At and Amp T announced on March 5, 2006 that it would acquire Bell South. The acquisition was finalized on December 29, 2006 when the FCC gave its final approval. According to At and Amp T, the company began the rebranding of Singular Wireless to At and Amp T. On January 12, 2007 At and Amp T announced a major rebranding transition campaign to transition Singular to the new It and Amp T. The former Singular stores, after being rebranded to It and Amp T, sold all It and Amp T products and services, wireless, landline, internet, U-verse, and more. The name change would be parodied on an episode of The Colbert Report when Stephen Colbert would compare the renaming of various businesses to the At and Amp T banner to the T-1000 from the term. Terminator films. Since much of what is now at and amp T makes up the majority of the former Bell system, singular to at and amp T rebranding transition on January 14, 2007, at and amp T launched the transition of the singular brand to at and amp T in television advertising and customer communications by creating the singular is now the new at and amp T logo on April 15, 2007. At at and Amp T Mobility began to introduce new At and Amp T branded mobile phones and devices. The alpha tag on new phone activations also started reading At and Amp T. A 
around May 11, 2007, Singular's name was replaced with at and amp t in most advertisements. On May 19, 2007, the at and amp t logo replaced the Singular logo on the NASCAR Next L Cup Series car its sponsors, owned by Richard Childress Racing and driven by Jeff Burton, however, it was soon removed. On May 24, 2007 Palm, Inc. issued an update for Singular branded Trio 680 smartphones that, among other things, updated the phone's branding from Singular to at and amp t. As of May 31, 2007, the former Singular Com website redirects to wireless, at com and no longer features any Singular logos whatsoever. In June 2007, customer service phone lines started being answered. Thank you for calling the new at and amp t about your wireless service. Quote. Additionally, all new SIM cards are branded with the at and amp t logo. By June 16, 2007, most of the phones on the company's network displayed at and amp t as the carrier instead of singular. By early 2009, at and amp t had dropped the new part of its brand from all advertising and communications. Customer service phone lines are answered. Thank you for calling at and amp t. Quote, as of December 2013, www.singular.com can still be used to access it and AMP T's wireless shop website, although it and AMP T let the Singular Federal Trademark lapse as of June 2013 they were still own a trademark for Singular Sounds, the domain Singular Sounds. Com also rolls over to an at and amp t web page. On May 16, 2014, the Singular Sounds trademark was cancelled by the USPTO when at and amp t did not file a Section 8 declaration of use. In January 2016, as part of an unrelated corporate rebranding related to at and amp t's acquisition of DirecTV, at and amp t mobility began to phase out its use of orange in a advertisements, which had been the dominant color of Singular. The company started placing more of an emphasis on blue, which had been kept as an accent color following the initial merger with it and Amp T Wireless and was a legacy color with both DirecTV and the Bell system. Dot. Acquisition of Dobson Communications on November 15, 2007, at and amp T completed its acquisition of Dobson Communications. Dobson marketed the Cellular One brand in rural and suburban locations in various areas of the United States, including Alaska. At and amp T bought Dobson for $13 per share, as well as assuming the regional carrier's debt, which cost the carrier a about $5.1 billion total. The U.S. Justice Department had ordered it and AMP T to sell assets in five U.S. states to complete its $2.8 billion Dobson Communications Corp. takeover. The department ordered it and AMP T to divest certain cell phone assets in Kentucky, Oklahoma, Missouri. Pennsylvania and Texas were at and amp t and Dobson are most competitive. At the time, at and amp t was the largest U.S. cell phone provider, with more than 81 million subscribers in 50 states. Dobson's Cellular One was the ninth largest, with 1.7 million subscribers in 17 states. Dobson had been an at and amp t roaming partner since 1990, and the acquisition is expected to bring growth to Dobson's current markets. The purchase allowed it and AMP T2 operate in the more rural areas of the United States including Alaska and West Virginia. Acquisition of Centennial Communications On November 7, 2008, at and AMP T announced its plans to acquire Centennial Wireless for $944 million. At and AMP T said that the acquisition would provide customers with better coverage in the Southeast, Midwest, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. The deal will also give it and AMP T more highly coveted 850 
MHz spectrum in the current Centennial wireless coverage area. In addition, Centennial also provides switched voice and high-capacity data and Internet protocol solutions for business customers in Puerto Rico. The transaction will give it an AMP TA wired network presence in Puerto Rico and will allow the company to better serve its multinational business customers with a presence in this United States territory. At and AMP T will gain Centennial's 893,000 subscribers after divestiture requirements. The deal was finalized on November 6, 2009. Failed acquisition of T-Mobile USA on March 20, 2011. At and AMP T and Deutsche Telekom announced that At and AMP T had agreed to acquire T-Mobile USA from Deutsche Telekom in a deal estimated to be worth $39 billion in cash and stock. At and AMP T said the deal was expected to close in 12 months and was subject to regulatory approval. As of June 2011, it was being examined by the FCC. On August 31, 2011, the United States Department of Justice formally announced that it had filed a lawsuit to block the merger. On November 22, 2011, FCC Chairman Julius G. Nachowski recommended sending it and AMP T's proposed T-Mobile acquisition to an administrative law judge for review in a hearing. On November 23, 2011 at AMP T withdrew its application with the FCC regarding the acquisition of T-Mobile USA. They also indicated that they would recognize a $4 billion dollar accounting charge in the event of a deal collapse. That charge covers a $3 billion cash breakup fee and $1 billion as the market value for the spectrum they were required to transfer to T-Mobile if the deal failed to complete. Acquisition of Next Wave Wireless On August 2, 2012, AT and AMP T and Next Wave Wireless announced an agreement for AT and AMP T to acquire Next Wave Wireless. Next Wave holds licenses in the wireless communication services and advanced wireless service bands. The acquisition closed on January 24, 2013. Acquisition of Altel brand from Atlantic Tele Network On January 22, 2013, At and AMP T announced that it had signed an agreement with Atlantic Tele Network to acquire the company's U.S. retail wireless operations, operated under the Altel brand, for $780 million in cash. Under terms of the agreement, at and AMP T will acquire wireless properties, including licenses, network assets, retail stores and approximately 585,000 subscribers. The transaction closed on September 20, 2013. Acquisition of Leap Wireless On March 13, 2014 at AMP T announced an agreement to acquire Leap Wireless for $1.2 billion. Press release, http, newsroom, leapwireless, com slash press dash releases slash at dash t dash to dash acquire dash leap dash wireless dash 646 dot aspx acquisition of plateau wireless. On June 24, 2014 plateau wireless agreed to sale plateau wireless assets to it and amp t. Assets included plateau wireless, cellular customers and related operations operations and assets throughout eastern New Mexico and West Texas. At and AMP T claimed that this will improve coverage across far western Texas Panhandle and east New Mexico. Spectrum Grab included in nanometer 4, 20 MHz of AWSA band, 25 MHz of 850 MHz B band, 12 MHz of 700 MHz C band in TX3, 20 MHz of AWSA band, 25 MHz of 850 MHz B band, 12 MHz of 700 MHz C band in nanometer 2. 20 MHz of AWSA band, 25 MHz of 850 MHz B band at and AMP. T said that this will be completed by the third quarter of 2016. 
acquisition of Nextel Mexico and AMP Illusacel. On April 30, 2015 at AMP, T completed its acquisition with Nextel Mexico. Earlier that year, AT and AMP T acquired Mexican wireless provider Illusacel. AT and AMP T plans to integrate both companies to provide more options, better coverage performance, faster speeds throughout Mexico. AT and AMP T will be the first provider to incorporate Mexico and AMP United States Mobility Services as North American mobile service with over 400 million subscribers across. United States and Mexico.